Good evening, hello YouTube. Welcome aboard the Storm of the Furry Biker. Hope everybody's doing well out there. Staying safe. If you're a fellow biker, keeping it legal, keeping it real. And following your country government's fucking guidelines in regards to COVID. Big shout out as always to all of my subscribers, old and new. Pleasure, privilege, honour to have you all on board with me. Thank you so much for the views, the likes, the comments, and the subscriptions. Big shout out as always to Steve Kennedy, Bike Talk Crew. Um, at the minute, currently not doing any training due to um, COVID regs, which I'm going to be coming on to in this video actually. And um, check out the Facebook page, check out the website, drop them a message, drop them an email, or a tweet, or Whichever way you want to get in contact with them, you know, just drop them a message. And as soon as things shake out a bit, they should be able to help you out if you live in Nottingham surrounding areas. And you're looking to do A1, A2, direct access, or your CBT. First of shout outs go to Dash Come on Two Wheels, Rossi on Rossi Two Wheels, Robin the Dash Cam, Laura K May Fursuits. A very talented um, YouTuber by the name of Blazy Fox, who completely unbeknownst to me, um, did a video a couple of weeks ago about fursuit hairstyles and uh, featured Stormus. So a big shout out to Blazy, check out his page, uh, his channel. Uh, also shout out to Yorkshire Hero, Spiky Biker. Um, try and think who else. My good friend Dexter Tate, also known as Riddlewiki, a very, very talented artist who's got a very unique style. And uh, Heather Abbott of Weapon Creations. Anybody I've left out, insert your name here. I apologise for leaving your name out. There's links to websites and channels in the description box below. So I've got that many fucking people who I shout out, etc, etc, that um, can get a bit bloody confusing, <laughs> you know, trying to remember everyone. So into this video, as I was saying, um, you know, the UK at the moment is under a fucking lockdown. And uh, you wouldn't think of the amount of fucking traffic that's on the roads at the moment. Can everybody be doing essential journeys? <laughs> I think not. The only reason I'm riding my bike is because I'm commuting to and from work. Because I'm, well, not only is uh, my work key, no pun intended, but, you know, I can't exactly do my job from home. But the government decided to chuck us this big lockdown, meaning that uh, driving training and motorcycle training uh, and motorcycle and driving tests have also had to be suspended because of the restriction which for once I can agree on the car tests and driving lessons the simple expedient that when you're driving a car or taking an examiner car your examiner or instructor is sat there with you in the car so even with a face covering you can't say social distance However, on a bike, things are a little bit different. Because on a bike, you're able to social distance because you are on your own. You don't have somebody sat next to you or behind you or alongside you. Instead, you're in radio communication with your instructor or examiner. And all the gear that you use in regards you know if you don't have your own helmet your own boots and gloves etc radio are all sanitized after use any fucking way a, a good school will sanitize all that you know before the next person uses it so <coughs> i can't quite understand why on earth the government decided that motorcycle training and motorcycle exams have to have a stop on them the blokes I feel sorry for 
apart from the instructors, are those who are on CBTs and L plates. Because if you keep working, your CBT runs out while we're in lockdown, you're fucked. You really, you are absolutely fucked over. Because legally, you can't then ride to your job. Because your insurance will be invalid. And also, you'd be riding outside of the terms of your license. You know, which dictate that you must have a valid CBT certificate to be legal on the road. So it's a right fucking smack in the teeth for the motorcycle community, really. This lockdown and these regulations. And like I said, I personally feel sorry for the guys whose CBTs are on now and the instructors. And of course the examiners. Because while everybody is fucking way laid at the moment, nothing is getting done. And, you know, instructors aren't getting paid, schools aren't getting paid. They've got, you know, they ain't got much coming in. Um, and students are falling behind with their training. Especially if you're on an A2 or direct access course. CBT boys, as already stated, you know, CBT runs out, they're fucked. Go on, girl. <coughs> So it's, it's not very fair on the motorcycling community that, um, you know, these regulations are in place. It's very car, it's very blanket centric. And it could actually put people off, you know, renewing their CBT and that, or spur people to ride illegally which if anything is more dangerous than you know it's probably one of the most dangerous things there is somebody riding illegally no license no insurance no insurance that's a three-pointer no license three-pointer six points on L plates you know, I know six points on nail plates isn't an instant ban, but they, seem, they carry over onto your full license when you pass. As far as I know, anyhow. But, you know, these rules and regulations could quite easily instigate and, you know, make people do stupid stuff. In a hurry, missus. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's, it's, it's just stupid. Motorcycling, as dangerous, as inherently dangerous as it is, is the safest way to commute. Because you're sealed away in your helmet, in your fucking leathers, or your gear. You know, it's, it's a socially distant thing because you're on your bike on your own. You're not interfering with anybody else. But, you know, that's just my thoughts on it all. <laughs> you know, and who am I? I'm just one fucking rider in a sea of riders out there. You know, some of you might think I'm being fucking uh, uh, anachronistic, archaic, anarchic even. Now, I can understand the idea of not going out for a jolly or a joyride, because, you know, as much as I want to do it myself, I can't. And I refuse to go for a fucking joyride as much as I want to because of the rules that are in place. I mean, I was watching a video on, I think it was a uh, dirt bike lunatic the other night. Biker had gone out for a joyride, got pulled over by the police, was questioned as to why he was out on his bike, where he'd come from and that. Luckily, he didn't get a fine, but was ordered to go straight home. But why would you do that? I, like I say, I can understand your frustration, folks. 
I really can. But you can't go out there and start doing shit like that, otherwise you're going to start getting fines. And the police are issuing fines. Quite fucking heavy ones as well. So, again, it's not worth the risk, especially if you have a fucking accident. You know. Like I say, folks, I know... This goes out to my fellow bikers. I know we're champing at the bit to go for a fucking ride. My fellow furries, I know you're champing at the bit to fucking go and see your friends meet out, go to conventions and fur meets and that, but while it's not safe, it's just not fucking worth it. You know, but again, that's just my fucking thoughts on it all. You know, you don't have to agree with me. You feel free to disagree with me if you fucking want to. That's what fucking democracy and debate is about. All I'm doing is putting my thoughts down on the table. And uh, I think, you know, with that, I'm going to bring this video to a close before I ramble on. I don't like rambling, and rambling is just fucking filler for videos. I don't like doing filler for videos because um, I like to be to the point. So I'm going to close this video here, folks and say to you all stay safe keep it real keep it legal follow your country's covid guidelines wherever you are in the world and i will see you all in my next video until then people this is stormus the furry biker saying i will see you all again real soon if you got something if you like the video, chuck us a like. If you've got something to say, you know, and I welcome comments. And you're not going to be an absolute cunt about it, though. Um, you know, chuck me a comment in the comments box. You know, maybe it could lead to a bit of debate with you. That was a bit fucking hairy. And um, if you're new to my channel, you want to come on board for more vlogs videos clips and weird shit click the subscribe button in the bottom corner and the little bell icon which will let you know as soon as i've uploaded a new video so without further ado folks um yeah basically stay safe keep it real keep it legal and i'll see you all again real soon stormus the furry biker saying farewell and Night-night.